Hi everyone, this is Krishna Vandanapu, a business applications MVP. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, we will learn how to join more than one data source to show the data in a single gallery. If you see here, I am performing a join between three data sources and rendering all the data in single gallery without using collections and without experiencing any delegation warnings. This approach I can use for both SharePoint data source and Dataverse tables as well. In this example, my business scenario is I have a device inventory. User will come and select the particular manufacturer and they submit their order. Once they submit the order, I should get the invoice inventory by joining three different tables or SharePoint lists and show all the relevant information in one gallery. In here, each and every color is coming from a specific SharePoint list or a Dataverse table. Let us examine what is the schema of the data and also how we can perform join between the SharePoint lists or Dataverse tables without using collections or without experiencing any delegation warnings. First, examine the SharePoint list schema. I have created manufacturer details as one list wherein I have manufacturer ID, title, country, country flag, all the details for the manufacturer, various manufacturers, which is what we are showing as part of my landing page. After that, I have another list, which is again a master list, wherein I have processor details. What is the manufacturer company of that process? And what is the processor name? What is the memory, which is RAM for that particular process? And the next one is device information list to map between manufacturers and processor details. In turn, it creates the device information. Here, I have each and every device in this list. Manufacturer ID is a lookup to manufacturer SharePoint list and processor ID is a lookup to processor details list. And if you see here, I have clearly mapped my processor ID to processor details. I'm getting only ID. I'm not getting any associated data as well. And here I'm getting manufacturer ID from manufacturer details table and I'm getting manufacturer ID as part of this column. And then once user submit, I'm storing all the company device order information as part of another list, which is a transactional list. What is the company? What is the manufacturer name? And what is the total price? And what are all the devices they have ordered for that particular order period? And here also, if you notice, manufacturer name is lookup to manufacturer detail SharePoint list. Here I'm getting title. And then device name is a lookup to device information, I'm getting the title. At the end, I'm storing only the manufacturer name and the device name. But if I run the app as part of the gallery, I'm displaying more than what I'm storing as part of this table. Let us see how app is performing. And then we'll see the formula to join the SharePoint list to get the data in one gallery. When I say HP, I see all the devices which are related with HP user selects whatever the devices they want. If they want to rise in quantity, they can rise in quantity, they can decrease in quantity. And as and when they rise the quantity, the cost will go up and the decrease cost will go down. This is a formula again. And if user want to add any additional manufacturers, they can come and select the time they select Dell. It will show Dell as well as XP. So user can select from multiple manufacturers. They will provide the company name. For an example, I have given Wipro Technologies and then select the date as 28 and followed by submit. Once they submit, it will go and submit the data back to company order details. If you notice here, I am showing device name, storage, screen size, device type, manufacturer, country, price and company. In the list, I have company name, which is what I'm showing here and the price, second column, these two data fields I'm getting from company 
device order table next one is the manufacturer name the manufacturer is acer but country for the manufacturer is not part of my company device order which is there as part of my manufacturer details next one is device related information here i am showing device name which is there as part of my company device order details but the additional information like storage screen size device type which is there as part of my device information list here i am showing screen size storage and device type if you go here my screen size is here storage is here and device type is here which means that i am joining my other two tables one is manufacturers and device information table along with my final company device order information how i am performing that is on gallery items property first thing what i am doing is i am doing a add column on top of my final list the first thing what i am doing is i am creating a column called device details and then i am performing a lookup this lookup is to join between company details and device information and here this is where i am establishing my join device information title which is nothing but the device name followed by company device order device name which is this one i am joining this name with device information title value how i am doing that is the table name followed by open square braces at the rate my column name followed by value this will give me the value inside this column when i perform a lookup it will get me that particular list item for that device name similarly i am getting for manufacturer details also as man details this will give me the record set from manufacturer details and then in my gallery on the label this item dot device details because when you see device details is a record because when i perform look up it gives me an entire record correct so using add columns i am adding records as part of my return data set and if i just do that device information dot screen size i will get this way i can get any data which is there as part of my device details table if i select dot i can get all the details which are there as part of my device information sharepoint list here it is storage here i said storage and then i say screen size for the screen size and device type as same as device type and then next one is manufacturer details in my query i am getting manufacturer details as another column as part of my return data set here man details is also again a record from that record i can fetch all the information as part of manufacturer's table using this record i am getting who is my manufacturer and then what is the country they are from i am also showing country flag if you see here country flag is a hyperlink so that hyperlink i am associating to a image so i can get my country image then and there and this one is straight forward because this is coming from my actual final table which is company name and price these two are straight away this item dot total price and this item dot title which is nothing but my company name this is how i can perform join between more than one sharepoint list if you notice my health checker i don't have any delegation warnings or performance issues anything zero i can even perform a filter on top of my data coming from other tables if you see here i am selecting device type to filter my gallery if i say all in one my device type is all in one i wanted to show the device type is not in my final list which is company device order this is there as part of my device information which is 
what I'm performing a join as part of my filter, which means that though I perform join, I can filter data on top of the result set, which I'm fetching from a join data. Drop down device type dot selected value equal to again, device details dot a device type. Remember device details is a record and under device details, I wanted to ensure the device type as my selected device type. So with that way, I can filter my data like the way I want. I can say only tablet. I can say only laptop. I'm rendering the data with country name and also country flag. The same way, the same formula I can use without any change. Only change is the table names and the appropriate mapping in Dataverse also. I have implemented the same logic for Dataverse as well. Let me show you that app for you. In the previous app, we have used SharePoint as a data source. In this app, all my data sources from Microsoft Dataverse. Let us see how we can implement the lookup in this example. As I said, there is no change in anything when we are performing join, though my data source is Dataverse. This time I wanted to select Lenovo as my manufacturer. I'm selecting some of the laptops and I can again, same, I can increase the count and decrease the count and then provide say like Confunal Software Group, submit, this time I just went ahead and changed the layout of my gallery. If you notice in my SharePoint example, my gallery style is this. And this time I went ahead and changed my gallery style as this. But here also I highlighted clearly the data is coming from which table. The blue ones are from device information and the orange ones are from manufacturer. And these two are from my final table. Okay. And if you, again, same, if you select some data type and it will show you a particular device type, whatever we selected as part of my dropdown. And if we examine the formula for items property of this gallery, there is no change. It is exactly the same. No change at all. Even I don't change a single line of code. It is all depends on how we are mapping data at my data verse tables. Okay. So this is how we can achieve join between the tables and between the SharePoint lists without any exceptions and without any delegation warnings to show multiple tables data in one single gallery. I hope you learned something new and enjoyed while watching this video. Comment all your questions as part of the comments. This is my contact information. I'm highly available on Twitter and LinkedIn. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for all future notifications. Thank you. Have a nice day.